Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now a few videos back we spoke about the 6GB GTX 1060 and its continued position at the top of Steam's hardware survey. With a percentage share of almost 7% and gaming performance that's still somewhat respectable, it's clear that this once popular performance segment graphics card will go down as one of the people's favourites, iconised for all time. But something is about to change. For the first time in a long time, the 1060 is about to be dethroned, knocked off its perch by a mere mortal. Okay, it's not that bad. The performance you're seeing here is representative of this new king's capabilities, though some would prefer to refer to it as more of the court jester. It didn't do that well, in reviews, but it did receive a GDDR6 memory upgrade that helped it out a little bit. While the GDDR6 card was certainly better, I didn't think the GDDR5 version was really that bad, not if the price was right, and I ended up buying one myself a few years ago. But enough of the riddles. For those of you that haven't cheated by skipping ahead or looking up the Steam hardware survey yourselves, or maybe you just saw it earlier in the video, what you see here are gameplay benchmarks kindly provided by the power of the GTX 1650. The GDDR5 1650. The worst case scenario, 1650. You might be wondering why this card is about to become more popular than the 1060, at least with Steam gamers. I suspect it's because prices are coming down on the second-hand market, plus the 1650 gives the new 6400 from AMD a good run for its money. There isn't much else going on at the sub £200 dollar or euro price point, and considering the PCIe X4 bandwidth of AMD's 6400, an NVIDIA 1650 might be a better choice in PCI Express 3.0 systems, and it would even do better in a lot of games. Now if you can, I'd recommend getting a GDDR6 1650 because it will be faster than the GDDR5 version, but that can be easier said than done in some countries. Some games will exhibit minimal performance differences, and others will see a nice improvement from the better memory. If older games are more your thing, in other words, if you like GTA 5, like a lot of people, then the 1650 can even play at 2160p or 4K, which is quite impressive, and it will do so with respectable settings and frame rates as well. Today's video was a small preview because I'll be testing the GDDR6 1650 properly soon, as it is still the better one to buy, though I'll be including comparisons between the two versions then as well. I really just wanted to make this video because I was surprised to see this card gaining on the 1060 in terms of its popularity, despite not being as good of a performer. So that's all there really is to this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.